Hey guys, back again, talking about calories again. Um, I thought I'd do this in a separate video, which is why I'm wearing the same t-shirt. Uh, it's not because I don't wash or anything, so, yeah. I don't re really know why I have to say these things, but I know someone will comment, so I feel I have to. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about, again I spoke about calories and, and just looking at it in that oversimplified way. And... This was actually brought up on Facebook by a, a fellow fitness professional, uh, Adam Gethin, who I've known for a while. Um, and it was about, uh, I think, a poster he saw, or somewhere he saw where it said, um, 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. I think it said one kilo, but it was wrong. See, even then it was wrong, so. And this, you get, you hear this a lot, like, banded around, uh, 3,500 calories is one pound of fat. And th while that's true even if you set up someone's uh, diet or their nutrition and their training so that the deficit is exactly 3,500 calories doesn't necessarily mean that person will lose one pound of fat. Um, so let me explain this a little bit further. It's because when you reduce someone's calories or you, you go into a calorie deficit, every, lots of people are going to have different different effects, I mean, effects that go beyond my level of knowledge, if I'm quite honest, and many, many, many other people's level of knowledge, you know, people that you think are top of their game, you know, they probably don't even know, because the, the body is such a complex mechanism, and there's so many different pathways um, for, you know, metabolism, so they don't even really know, but one of the main things that I've noticed, or it has to do with activity level in general and things like how hard you train in the gym if you know that you're in a deficit it can kind of play mind tricks on you or it reduces your energy level so you stop putting effort into things and that then converts into you actually burning less calories throughout the day uh, people think that they just need to train really hard in the gym which you do obviously and, and do more cardio and stuff but Beyond BMR, which is the calories you need just to kind of live through a day to day, the majority of your other calories that make up the rest of your nutrition are going to be made up in what you do on a on a day to day basis. So, what what you find happens is that when people go into a calorie deficit and they start reducing their calories, they start getting lazy. Um, so. You might drive instead of walk somewhere. You might take the elevator, the lift, elevator, not American, um, or the escalator. You know, you'll park closer to the shops, things like that. And you, you just won't do as much housework. You might not fidget as much. And all these things really do add up. I mean, you see people saying that, oh, you know, park further away, walk upstairs, things like that. And you think they, you kind of think they're taking the piss, but it's true. Like these things do really add up. So think little things like that could add up to anything from you know two to three hundred extra, extra calories a day. And when you're talking about minor deficits of you know twenty percent, ten, twenty percent, you you're pretty much negating that deficit. So if you're trying to diet down slowly, let's say you're perhaps in a two hundred calorie deficit, and then you just get lazy, you stop training hard in the gym, or you train with less intensity you stop moving around as much you've pretty much negated that calorie deficit it's and you're now left in a worse place because you're eating less food and you're maintaining your weight that's where the problem lies um, so you should not look at it there's two two things to take from this one you shouldn't even if you get your numbers exactly right it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose that much the second thing is just get off your ass and do things like don't don't get lazy basically um, and then I know people are going to say well why count calories at all the reason why you kind of count calories and macros is purely to be consistent um, I mean counting calories and macros is not even that accurate anyway but it does allow that level of consistency so that you can make adjustments from there but the main take home here 
is that even if you calculate it on a calculator, you don't know what effect those calories or what that deficit is going to have on your body, someone else's body. It's, they're going to have two completely different things. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the take home from this. If you're dieting, get off your ass and start moving around. Okay, so that's it for me. 3,500 calories doesn't equal a pound of fat loss. Not necessarily. Sometimes it does, but it's going to be completely individual and person dependent. So, I hope you like this video. If you have, make sure you press the like button below and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I'll do a video. Um, so, yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching.